Hello, everybody. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to another episode of Take, Take 47. 47. This time, we're not in a car. We're in a living room. Very Air cozy. conditioned oh, living room. Oh, so much better. Oh, yes. Much better than our uh, uh, tin can without an AC. <laughs> uh, as always, uh, joining me is obviously, you know, Cole Wood. Uh, Hi, baby. Today, we are talking about someone who has increased in popularity in uh, based on the, the past few years um someone who i guess you could say is quote breathtaking oh i think i know who you're talking about today we are talking about the man the myth the legend keanu Adam reeves Samps. what keanu reeves yes yeah keanu yeah reeves. Keanu, keanu reeves right that's the person we're talking right about. yep exactly uh we kind of just want to talk about why people like him so much. I mean, it's similar to the same vein of, uh, you know, our Adam Driver video and our Tom Holland video. Just kind of talking about what we like about Keanu Reeves, why he's one of the nicest people on the planet, why he is just constantly getting work and people just love him so much. Like, we kind of want to talk about that. Mm -hmm. So without further ado, let's uh, let's open up this can of worms, eh? Okay. So, of course, coming up in his uh, in his repertoire, he's got Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. Yes, he's that's got Dylan Ted true. three. Yep, and then he uh, of course it got delayed for a couple more years, but I know uh, he has Matrix four and Matrix four. Um, that's right. And I'm sure John Wick four is also being either written or getting ready to film. Maybe I I don't know. Uh, they kind of pump those movies out at this point like candy. That's true. It's but like he's every... always happy to do them. Oh yeah, yeah. And I think that's one of the most uh, appealing aspects of Keanu Reeves um, working with him. I mean, obviously, unfortunately, we don't know what it's like to work <laughs> with Keanu Reeves as much as I'd love to. But I'd be an experience. I'd love to have. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. I mean, I I would love just hanging out with the guy, going to like a Red Robin or anything like that. Oh it's yeah, like, hey, fans man. that have met him rave about how kind he is i how authentic I he is absolutely understand that like keanu i think and it's a perfect segue into just one of the main reasons why people like him so much but based on the the co-worker his co-stars his uh you know the people behind the camera um which side note he recognizes all the time mm -hmm. he always always shouts out the people behind the camera it's rare um, for famous actors exactly some actors can get you know some actors don't really you know mention the people behind the camera from you know friggin the the dp all the way to the pa for god's sake but um, he, he does i mean he commented uh if i remember correctly it was like a jimmy fallon um uh episode or whatever mm -hmm. that he was on it was on a little segment and he was talking about John Wick 3 and the motorcycle stunt with um, the horses and, like, how they were sword fighting or whatever. Yeah. And Absolutely wild. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a very, very fun scene. And he said that, like, uh, as he was explaining it, if I remember correctly, he was, you know, he kind of, like, stopped his, what he was talking about uh, in terms of what he was doing. Yeah. And then he was like, the people behind the camera, too, are, like, absolutely fantastic. Like... They're doing really, really awesome work, and like that's that's really cool. I I have massive props for Mr. Reeves for actually pointing out that it's not just the actors on camera that make whatever art you're you're working on, whether yeah. it's games or anything like that. Feels good to know that he respects the other people involved in the process. Exactly, because I mean, he arguably has the easiest job. He's supposed to just show up, say his lines, do his stunts, and then call it a day, and then sure. everyone else, you know is editing and trying to make sure all the shots are, you know, the lighting Making is Making him look as good as possible. Exactly. They're trying to make him look absolutely fantastic, which isn't that hard to do because he's already <laughs> fantastic. But no, his his work ethic, the fact that he just puts in 100% um, in, in any project he's in. I mean, he's always enthusiastic about anything he's in, even if it's a bad movie. Because that's the thing about Keanu Reeves compared to the other two actors we've talked about. He's been in a, f a few bad movies, absolutely. And not just bad movies, some pretty god-awful movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, for example, um, uh, Dracula, with oh, uh, his English accent, and, like, one of the worst lines ever, where he's like, I even know where the 
bastard sleeps. <laughs> and like, I have to contort to try and even like mimic what how he sounded. And then uh, in the movie The Devil's Advocate with Al Pacino and Cameron Diaz, yeah. he. Um, he or oh my god I'm so sorry not Cameron Diaz Jesus Christ Charlize Theron um he he has a southern some, accent uh, some shit for that one yeah we're probably gonna get some flag oh well but whatever um but he tries to do a southern drawl in that in that one and while it's actually not as bad as his English accent to be fair I will give him absolutely the credit where credits due still doesn't work out yeah his southern <laughs> drawl is still kind of in some segments he's like I don't want anything mom. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird. <laughs> but it, o- overall, I mean, at least that movie is is good. But um, you actually have one that I personally haven't seen. Oh yeah. Um. So so tell us about that uh, movie he's in that isn't exactly up to par with movies like The Matrix or John Wick. It's uh, every actor is uh is 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 like just pulled in to Shakespeare. You know, yeah. it's it's got to be like one of the one of the like gosh i can't think of the word but it's it's really just for actors the the cream of the crop they always go for it because they think it makes them seem more distinguished more talented whatever yeah keanu reeves was in a production of much ado about nothing directed by kenneth branagh who is famous for his poor shakespeare adaptations <laughs> in the film and Keanu Reeves plays the the villain in this movie named Don John. And if you can, it's on YouTube. Just go look up and uh, Keanu Reeves, Don John, an honest villain. He plays this scene where he's getting a massage. Okay. And he he has this whole monologue about how he's an honest villain and and, and you know it, it's really just revealing the plot further which mm-hmm. I won't spoil, but <laughs> he he just oh gosh, he has this air about him where <laughs> where you you can tell that he doesn't understand the words that he's saying. He's just saying them. Right. And so he's like, "It is I who will be the villain. <laughs> I'm an honest villain and you can't stop me." It sounds like grew <laughs> it is I who will be the villain, and I am an honest villain. Girls, girls, just, just girls. please. If anyone's looking for a good time, you just look up that clip. Comment what you think, because, wow, yeah. that is a breathtaking clip. Just to see Keanu Reeves in another light. But that's the thing; it doesn't make me lose respect for him. Yeah, it's so funny because, like, it's great to see him yeah. flop. And Keanu Reeves isn't an absolutely incredible actor. Like, he's no Daniel Day Lewis. He's no, he's no Tom Hanks. He's you know he's not Adam Driver. No, but he's a movie star nonetheless. Yeah, and there's like, and I think it's one of the things we talked about, uh, if I remember correctly, in the Tom Holland episode, uh, a brief point that we touched on where yeah, it's. The fact that you're an incredibly outgoing, nice guy, and you're charismatic, and no matter what, you will always get a job. Oh, for in, sure. In the industry. I mean, when I was in New York, I was told uh, by my, my teachers who are in the industry that they always want to work with the nice guy, mm-hmm. the one who's who is always like, yeah, absolutely, let's go for it. Never, you know, questions uh you know simple directions or anything like that and it really doesn't seem from from our standpoint from like an audience standpoint uh, just based on the interviews of um people who have worked with him both behind the camera and on camera that he's just always yeah let's do it it's never a, uh, i don't know it's yep when are we doing it what's when and don't get us wrong we're not saying that it's not helpful to be a talented person oh no not at and, all and we're absolutely not saying that Keanu Reeves is an untalented person. Also true. But it is remarkable how positive and gung-ho he can be about all the projects that he's working on. Yeah. And it's remarkable like how outgoing and nice he is because I mean he's had some he's had a traumatic experience happen in his personal life that Is that true? He he lost his wife. 
um, oh my years gosh, ago. and it's I, I'm I'm still like very very surprised that he's as open as he is about just being happy and stuff like that. And I can't imagine what that must feel like. Yeah. See, I didn't know that that he lost his wife, but I did know that he lost his child. Oh, the, the, um, the stillbirth. Oh, right. Jesus. My God. Must be the same one. I wouldn't be surprised if that's why they they uh, got divorced. And Yeah, I... That's that. That's a... Bringing that's a it rough. low here on DGV today. Yeah, but, right, uh, yeah. But, but, but this really just stands to prove that Keanu Reeves is a magnificent person. Because I know so many people that, like lose a child lose a wife like that's just it for them yeah they'd fall they collapse and then and crumble as a human being but keanu reeves found a way to to channel that it reminded me of joaquin phoenix he yeah loses his brother oh. and uses that to move forward in his life yeah and and Heath uh ledger as well yeah, absolutely he's he one of his really good friends um and then uh we we definitely at some point have to talk about joaquin phoenix because for sure i i absolutely think we should um but Keanu, what I also love about his his work ethic and stuff, um, more primarily uh, the actual work he does, he does his own stunts, and mm-hmm. he is an extremely talented stuntman. It takes a lot of practice. I- exactly. Uh, in for example, to uh, give everyone an example, uh, in the Matrix when he fights Morpheus and it's the whole I know kung fu scene <laughs> uh, and Morpheus is like show me and they get into this uh, like dojo mm-hmm. um, him and Keanu Reeves and Lawrence Fishburne every hit that you see on camera every move both of them did on their own no kidding they, at the end of that they had like bruises all over their arms and legs. I'm and sure stuff, they just weren't gentle they, with each no, other. <laughs> no, it, it's awesome. Uh, and Keanu Reeves was like all gung ho for it. He, you know, does his own stunts. And I mean, you see that alone in in the John Wick movies. I mm-hmm. mean, half the stunts that go on, like like riding on a horse and fighting people on motorcycles. What? <laughs> like, you know, that's the one thing I think that I can always tell when an actor doesn't do their own stunts. And I'm not, I'm not like bashing actors that don't do their own stunts i couldn't do half the stuff that i see on screen (laughs) yeah but there is an authenticity that you can just feel like the energy is different it is when an actor does their own stunts it 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 like delves you deeper into the movie as opposed to when it is a clear stunt double and then you're like oh haha they switched it yeah, and that takes you out, and that's and I think another thing is I think it's also easier on the filmmakers as well because they don't have to hide that it's a stunt double because it's just one person, <laughs> and they don't have to pay another person. Exactly, <laughs> so it's lighter on the budget, and uh, from a cinematograph, uh, cin- oh, I don't know how you would say that would have been, like from the standpoint of cinematography. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a lot easier because then you can get like shots that you want, like oh, I want to see Keanu Reeves. I want to see his reaction having to deflect one of the guys on the motorcycle. Okay, well, we can do that. We don't have to, like, CGI it in or anything. It's it's him. And I think that's that's really awesome. And uh, I also love just how, like, and, and it kind of does um, revere back to how he's, like, charismatic about every project and stuff. But yeah. I, as far as I know, he hasn't tackled a video game yet. Right? As far as... I can't remember one that he's been in. I don't think he has been in one, but... If he was, it definitely wasn't a AAA release. Yeah, yeah. And maybe it was like minor voice work and nothing crazy, but uh, as some of you may know, uh, like we mentioned with Cyberpunk 2077, um, and as Cole made... Or no, uh, my apologies, Dom made that joke this morning. <laughs> yes. uh, he goes... Uh, people in 2077 still waiting for cyberpunk because it got delayed <laughs> again um slated to come out september i believe it, yeah now it's like november or something like that mm-hmm. they delayed it again um understandable but disappointing nonetheless yeah because i'm actually getting really interested in the game now because you know they started releasing like gameplay and all that stuff but keanu i mean we all know it's the meme he he walks out on at e3 
and you're breathtaking and like but but even then like you know that wasn't scripted of course because some random audience member said you're breathtaking right and he's like no you're breathtaking but like he wants such out. an honest moment yeah and and even when he goes on stage i i still love his energy because he's like i'm gonna tell you about this game <laughs> set in 2077 it made it worth it to watch yeah. xbox's yeah um e3 and he's like cyberpunk <laughs> 2077 and then like everyone's like cheering and like and like he you know he keeps saying breathtaking and all that stuff and then at the, like even at the end he's like uh he's like now hang on guys i i gotta finish this 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 segment i gotta tell you why this game's great yeah like, y- you can tell that he just wants to talk to the audience yeah. but they're like okay you gotta say this and you gotta yeah, say exactly this. like come on dude wait we're on a time schedule it's like <laughs> but i want to hug everyone <laughs> he just he seems like such a huggable dude and like i i just love that it, this is something that as far as we know um and correct us in the comments if we are wrong but this is at least of this caliber is the first time he's done anything like this. Mm-hmm. It's the first time he's used a, a motion capture, a mocap suit, and is you know animating or is acting in a very different way because everything isn't in front of him. And you, you know, I think that's really becoming more mainstream. It is. Too. It absolutely is. Because I mean, I know in Hollywood right now, everyone wants the next big CGI artist. But no one's paying them good enough. So, like, a lot of these big studios that do CGI are shutting down right after they finish a movie because yeah. they don't have the money to, to to keep up all this stuff. Yeah. And so actors and movie makers are really moving towards the, the next medium, which is these video game releases. Yeah. And that's that's very true. We saw that with um, Death Stranding. Yeah. With Norman Reedus and Guillermo del Toro. Which, say what you want about the gameplay, but I think that their performances were... Yeah. Uh, stellar. And technically, it all kind of started with, while it's unfortunately not a thing anymore, and it still annoys me, but when um, Norman Reedus teamed up with, um, with I want to say, Guillermo and Hideo Kojima mm-hmm. uh, for Silent Hills. Oh. And unfortunately, while Konami whatever it's not a thing but that is also another example yeah um but a lot of a lot of actors are kind of morphing towards towards that medium and keanu just went in head first and was like everyone's breathtaking he's like like, a pioneer of this new genre exactly i mean he's the kind of person that like if you're in a bad mood all he says all he has to say to you is how you doing (laughs) and you're all of a sudden like you know what I'm doing great now that you literally like you're Keanu dude Mm -hmm. your energy he's just he's so he's like a ray of sunshine everywhere he goes and I absolutely like respect that it's so cool it always makes me think of the saying you know don't meet your heroes because you'll end up being disappointed they won't be what you think they're like yeah exactly Keanu Reeves is a person that I think I could meet and he'd be like I imagine oh absolutely I I definitely think just because based on the amount of times people have met him and he has been just like what we see him on you know on tv i've never heard a scandal have you i don't think i've heard of a keanu reeves scandal like where he was definitely in the content comments leave us um if you have information about a keanu reeves scandal that i don't know about yeah i don't think he was ever in any controversial thing or anything that he did that people considered controversial or anything mm-hmm. like that. He's always been like... I mean, a, I'm sure he's made mistakes. He's human. Well, yeah, of course. But I guess uh, mistakes that didn't garner negative media attention, I guess. Mm-hmm. Other than just being in occasionally bad movies, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but that's not a crime. Yeah, yet. no, that's just... That just happens. Um, do you say yet? I did say yet. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the day. Oh, my lord. That'd be wild. Hereby decree no more bad movies. Yep, and then oh my god, that would be an interesting, uh, that'd be an interesting timeline to to live in. Adam Sandler, you are hereby sentenced to death. <laughs> yeah, he's first. He, 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 <laughs> what, what is it? Uh, the, the brother and sister for Jack and oh, Jill. Jack and Jill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, that dude's got a, like five death sentences if that was ever a thing. <laughs> Uh, for da- for Jack and Jill, grown ups to ridiculous six, uh, everything like 
Oh man! Some people thought Uncut Gems was terrible. So like, I, I enjoyed that movie, but that's a um, whole another conversation. Yeah, that's a whole different conversation. Um, but no, I, I think that like I hope to see more of Keanu Reeves, and I I think that we are gonna see more Keanu Reeves. I would actually like, I'd like to see him in more than just action movies. And while technically... It's really his niche. It is his niche, absolutely. And while technically there are movies out there that aren't just action movies and are dramas, like the poorly received replicas or Devil's Advocate, like I, I had mentioned with Al Pacino mm-hmm. and Charlize Theron, not Cameron Diaz. Not Cameron, Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz. Um, but, like, I would like to see him in more of those nowadays, I guess, and with, like, the right people behind it. Because I feel like if you surround point, him with better people, yeah, not not that he isn't great, but like if you surround him with people that are as great or even better actors than he is, yeah, then it's really just a question of uh, when the movie's coming out because it's going to be great. Yeah, it would absolutely be. Um, it would absolutely be at least fun to to watch or at least somewhat engaging because you know we have yeah you know Keanu has this reputation of just being a a, a ray of sunshine no matter what um so you know uh in conclusion um i i think that keanu is definitely one of those actors that you know he's 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 had some really rough moments and he had his his one of his bigger breaks with with the matrix i mm-hmm. mean it revolutionized the action genre absolutely and now did. all of a sudden he has aside from the matrix another series that's just him as the main character and all it's all action i mean his it's remarkable how well yeah he's he's been able to shape the industry of action movies yeah absolutely to, to his own um advantage exactly i mean uh, did you ever see the video of uh he was practicing for john wick 3 and he was using real firearms yeah and like he's just he's a machine like, <laughs> Absolutely, that is the best word. He yeah, is a machine. He just is unstoppable, and it's so cool. Uh, Keanu is a very, very talented guy, and uh, I think I can speak for both of us when I say that we would like to see him in in more. Actually, I think it'd be kind of fun if we saw him in a Star Wars movie. I don't even know Whoa. what he'd be. Don't even care what he'd be. Oh my god! But like, I feel like he'd embrace that really like. Because Star Wars is campy. Yeah. Star Wars is campy, it's crazy, it's ridiculous, and and it always has been. Yeah. And Keanu Reeves knows how to do that. Exactly, and I think I think it'd be so much fun. Like and it'd be really cool because then we could say that Keanu Reeves is a Jedi. Yeah. Or Dude, he could be the gray Jedi. Yeah, he it'd be really, really cool. So, you know. Uh keep at the that very in mind. least Taika Watiti should put him in the Mandalorian. Ooh. Or wait, no, no, or no yeah, John Favreau. John Favreau should put him in the Mandalorian. Taika or, Waititi can put him in the movie. Yes, exactly. Um, and that'd be that'd be a blast to to watch, or at least to to kind of check out. Um, so you know, keep that in mind, Favreau and uh, Taika. Um, so yeah, that'll be uh, our conclusion for Mr. Keanu Reeves and his segment. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you had a good time. We have uh, a few other episodes. Uh, before this that you guys can you know check out on the channel uh, or or not you are absolutely uh, free to you know do whatever you want but always be on the lookout for new episodes every Tuesday every Up Tuesday take 47 baby. all right peace out guys see ya